السلام علیکم اسٹوڈینٹس ہوپ یو آل آر فائن دس از یور فیسلیٹیٹ یور ٹیوٹر فار ایس بی ایل اسٹریٹجک بزنس لیڈرشپ orientation session and i welcome you all in it let's just discuss that what is sbl and then we will discuss the strategy the changes which are proposed in the upcoming session how we are going to deal with those changes right <clears throat> uh, the rules of the classes are as simple as that that the classes are held live online right uh, and along with that the classes are uh, available Uh, on lms through recording uh, you can access to both if you are a student you can access to both you can discuss with me right uh, if there are any questions for the uh, for the students they can always text me on my whatsapp my whatsapp number is plus 92331262384 right and if the students uh, if the student is sitting in a class he can ask me through the zoom chat box right uh, the, there's an option in your menu uh for the chat and you can uh, write your question there and i'll i'll check the chat box after 15 to 20 minutes and i'll reply to the thing right and the students those who are taking the recording of the session they can text me on whatsapp whenever they found a question right so let's just move uh to strategic business leadership that is sbl exam <clears throat> and let's just discuss uh that what's sbl and how to attend that right uh first you just confirm me that my voice and screen is clear yeah uh so it's quite confirmed so let's go ahead right <clears throat> yeah uh so basically today uh, our aim is to cover what what we have to cover uh in today's classes that we have to understand sbl right what is sbl along with that uh, the requirements what are the important requirements here right how to deal with it how to deal with it right uh how we are going to cover the course right how we are going to cover the course right changes we are go- surely going to uh, going to discuss the changes from september 23 right there are some changes uh, supposed to be happen in sbl exam i'll let you know the previous version of sbl first and then we'll go to the changes that now what's the change from june 23 to september 23 right then what's the change from june 23 to september 23 right so what are we are, we are going to do in today's class is we need to understand sbl what is sbl right how we are going to deal with it how we are going to cover the course changes from september 23 right strategy for passing and in last i'll also let you know what's the strategy to pass sbl exam and in last i'll let you know that what's the strategy so that you guys can pass sbl exam right so what's the strategy that you guys can pass sbl exam and again i would remind you that if you guys have any question you can either text me on my whatsapp i'll i'll uh, write the whatsapp in the link and uh, also at the end of the class i'll let you know right, right? Uh, so here we go to our first 
uh, agenda of the class here we go to our first agenda of the class and that is to understand sbl right that is to understand sbl so now what's sbl see sbl stands for you uh, you guys know that you guys must know that right strategic business leadership exam sbl stands for strategic business leadership exam right and this this exam was previously right this exam uh, was previously known as in acca right in acca previously known as uh it was a merger of two exams right it was a merger of two exams that's p1 and p3 p1 was corporate governance ethics right p1 was corporate governance and ethics right p1 was corporate governance and ethics and p3 was business analysis p3 was business analysis so that was your sbl exam in the previous version right uh, this change was happened this change was happened after september 18 right september 18 was the first attempt of sbl September eighteen was the first attempt of SBL, right? So, in order to understand SBL, you guys must know that what was the previous version of SBL, and now what what uh, what are the differences in that previous version? That previous was in the previous version there were two exams, P one and P three, and now it's SBL, right? Strategic Business Leadership. The course is same, more or less. Uh, slight a few topics have been added in SBL. uh and the first paper of sbl was done in september 18 right the first paper of sbl uh, was done in september 18 right <clears throat> now uh let's have a discussion on uh on its about that you guys should know you guys should know uh the about like what's sbl if if you are sitting first time and you are you 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 get to know the first time of uh, to your paper then you must know right what's what's sbl so it's basically a 12 to 18 pages it's basically a 12 to 18 pages case study right with annual reports in this case study you guys will be given annual reports right in this case study uh you guys will be given annual reports articles right in this case study you guys will be given annual reports articles ceo comments articles can be press articles or any journalist articles right uh charts you guys will be given some charts also right you guys uh will be given some tables right you guys will be given some minutes with you you guys will be given some flow charts also uh, obviously the all uh, all things are not going to be given in one exam but that's just the part part of it right that can be tested right you guys can be given some presentations you guys can be given some uh, notes with you right presentations some supporting notes with you and etc right and etc so this is a general info of sbl like what's what's sbl so it's in 12 to 18 pages case study right so it's a general info of sbl that what's sbl so it's an 18 pages case study which will comprise is annual reports articles ceo comments charts table minutes flow charts presentations everything right everything will be given here and now let's go on to the format right now let's just go on to uh the format of sbl like what's the format how it's going to be tested right how it's going to be tested right so the format is so the format is uh obviously it's obviously 
it's of 100 marks, right? Obviously, it's of 100 marks, right? <clears throat> yeah. So, obviously, uh, the exam is of 100 marks, right? Exam is of 100 marks, right? And there will be uh, one case study in exam, right? There will be one case study in exam, right? Uh, it can comprise three to five questions right it can comprise three to five questions right and its parts so it could comprise three to five questions along with its parts right three to five questions along with this parts and obviously this case study obviously this case study is quite similar is quite similar to the exam of ACS of ICAEW if you know ICAW, it's Institute of Chartered Accountancy of England and Wales. And this case study is not exactly the same, but quite similar to that exam, right? Quite similar to that paper. Uh, that paper has another difficulty level and we are not going to discuss that paper, right? But I'll just refer you that this idea was, I guess, taken from them, right? This idea of case study of merging these papers of merging these papers was taken from them. So 100 marks, one case study, three to five questions and their parts. And it's similar to that paper, right? And out of these hundred and out of these hundred and out of these hundred <clears throat> 80 marks are being separate out of these hundreds 80 marks are separate and 20 marks are something else 80 marks are something else and 20 marks is something else right so now what's the uh, breakup of 80 and 20 obviously i'll let you know what's the breakup of 80 and 20 obviously i'll let you know uh, 80 marks are known to be as 80 marks are known to be as the technical skills marks, right? 80 marks are known to be as technical skills marks, right? And 20 marks are known to be as and 20 marks are known to be as professional skills marks, right? So 80 marks are of technical skills marks and 20 marks are of professional skills marks. And this is a disclaimer that I'm discussing the pre-September 23 attempt format, right? I'm discussing the pre-September 23 attempt format, right? I'll let you know the changes, what are expected in or what are going to be uh, made in September 23. But now since it's an orientation, so I'll let you know the both versions, right? I'll let you know the both versions, right? So 80 marks are technical skills marks and 20 marks are professional skills marks, right? In 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 uh in these 80 marks, obviously you know uh you'll be using some theories which you will be obviously taught, right? You will be using some models which you will be taught, right? Then you will be doing a drafting which will be obviously practiced. So 80 technical marks are of theories, models, drafting, and all that, right? But now these professional marks are an art, right? This, this marks, these marks are an art, right? You can, you cannot learn. You can, you can grow these marks within yourself, right? You need to practice to act a professional person in your exam, right? These marks can be taken not by learning or not by incorporating uh, models and all that these 20 marks can only be obtained if you sound professional now that means you have to grow these marks in your you have to grow these skills basically in you and obviously uh, how it is going to be done so it's going to be done by practice right by practice of the scenarios, by practice of the exams. So it's going to be done uh, by practice. So these 20 professional marks are not uh, just an, uh, simple marks to be taken. These 20 professional marks are basically 
you need to earn these marks by practicing yourself you need to you you should have you have to be a sound professional to earn that right and what are basically the professional skills what are basically the professional skills that will be tested what are the professional skills that are going to be tested so the professional skills which is going to be tested in your exam the professional skills which is going to be tested in your exam is analysis skill right is skepticism right it's exact skepticism it's commercial acumen right it's communication right and it's evaluation obviously we are going to have classes on learning these skills that how these skills these skills can be incorporated in your blood we are surely going to be having these classes right we are surely going to be having these classes uh, to get these skills in your blood right to get these skills in your blood so analysis skepticism commercial acumen communication evaluation these are all the skills which you need to have in order to sound professional and in order to earn 20 professional marks right in order to earn 20 professional marks right and these skills these skills needs to be demonstrated by the candidate right these skills needs to be demonstrated by candidates in exam so you, you need to demonstrate these skills what are these analysis skepticism come on commercial acumen, communication, evaluation, right? So 80 marks are technical marks, right? 80 marks are technical marks, which will be awarded by writing theories, models, and all that, right? And 20 marks are professional skills marks, which are just being given to you, which are, which are the bonus marks, right? Which are just being given to you to sound professional, to act professional, to be professional, right? So these are the breakup of 80 and 20. Now, we were in a seminar in which in which different tutors of SPL were present there, right? So one tutor just asked that I'll make the student practice of these 80 marks. I don't care of these professional marks. I'll make the student practice uh, to these 80 marks and I'm sure he's going to pass the exam. Like he'll, he'll get 50 to 60 marks in SPL, right? Uh, in SBL for, from these 80s. So now the SBL team cleared in, in that ACCA seminar, the SBL team cleared that without these 20 marks, this is, this is a quote, right? Without these 20 marks, none can get 80 technical marks, right? You cannot get the technical marks for an unprofessional answer like if you have not focused on professionalism you cannot get these 80 marks if you have not focused on professionalism you cannot get these 80 marks so that student has to ensure <coughs> that he is going for these professional marks then only he can get these 80 marks. So without considering the professional marks and professional skills, you cannot get any of the technical marks, right? You cannot get any of the technical marks, right? One of my, one of my teacher has, has told me about SBL, that SBL is a project, right? Treat it, treat it like a project, right? Treat it like a project it's it's a practical paper right it's a practical paper treat it like a project it's not not the simple paper right it's not the simple paper and since it's a practical paper it needs it needs practical it needs practical as well as professional answer it needs practical as well as professional 
rational answer since it's a practical paper, right? Since it's a practical paper. One of my uh, tutor has termed it as, as a practical paper, so I'll also share it with you, right? Obviously, uh, the paper format, uh, the further thing about the paper format can be various tasks will be given. It's not like just one task, right? It will be various tasks will be given to you, right? Uh, and will be given from, and will be given from CEO, might be from chairman, might be from HOD, right? They will be given, uh, might be from HOD, right? Anyone can give you and uh, can be from manager. And further, your roles, further, your roles also can be. Your roles also can be, your roles also can be managed, can be HOD. You can be, an, you can be a junior assistant, a senior assistant, right? So that means the task can be given by any of the person and you can be an any of the person, right? If, if it's just like, the chairman has given a task to the manager. The chairman has given a task to the HOD. And HOD has passed it to you. So you are a junior assistant. So any of the person can give you the task. So that will be your audience. If you are reverting back the task, so that, that person who has given you the task is your audience, right? And you can be a junior assistant. You can be an audit manager. You can be any of the thing, right? You can be any of the thing, right? <clears throat> So here, various tasks will be given and similarly, and similarly in SBL and similarly in SBL, various formats and similarly, various formats will be tested, right? So in SBL, you can expect, in SBL, you can expect that various formats are going to be tested. Right, uh, you can be asked to make, you can be asked to make a presentation. So you have to make a presentation slide in that, right? Uh, you can be asked to make uh, letters. You can be asked to write a letter. We have one question in which the letter was asked, right? You can ask to make reports. You can ask to make a business case. You can be asked to make project initiation document. So, so you need to be aware, right? So you need to be aware of these. You need to be aware of these formats, right? And we'll, we'll let you know these formats. We'll, I'll make you practice on these formats, right? Uh, you can be asked to make press releases. You can be asked to make press releases, right? Uh, so any, any of the thing, any of the person can give you tasks you can be any of the person that works in that organization and sometimes you can be an external consultant right and then there can be various formats that are going to be tested and then there can be various formats that are going to be tested with you so th these are basically that to understand SPL right that these are basically to understand SPL right Then time. Now, what's what's time of SBL to attempt? I'm again saying I'm talking about uh, the previous version of SBL. That's previously before September 23, right? <coughs> so time is of uh, four hours. So time is of four hours, right? In which examiner has given you a breakup that you have to plan one hour. Examiner has suggested that plan one hour and write three hours, right? And three hours writing. In which the breakup of examiner is three hours writing, right? In which the breakup of examiner is three hours writing. So that is the summary of SBL. That is the summary of SBL. So I told you that First, we need to understand SBL. So now you guys know that SBL is a 12 to 18 pages case study. Similarly, SBL has 100 marks in which 80 marks are technical marks and 20 marks are professional marks. We have to consider professional marks as important marks as without those marks, you cannot get 80. 
Similarly, various formats will be tested, right? Presentation skills, letters, reports, business case, press releases. These all are going to be tested, right? These all are going to be tested. Anyone can give you the task and you can be any person. And time is off four hours and time is off four hours in which one hour is of planning. You can, you can write in that one hour, right? If you want to write in that one hour, you can write, right? If you want to write in that one hour, you can write. Right? Yeah, obviously it's a CBE exam. Yeah, it's as now in, I guess, majority of the countries, every uh, ACC exam is CBE. So it's CBE, right? If in, if in your country, it's not CBE, so no, no worries. You can, you have to write it on paper, right? And now the other question that I have written is how to deal with SBL. Or I can say how to pass it, right? Now here comes my strategy. Now here comes our strategy. See, it's, it's basically SABs. My name is Abdul Basit. It's my initial, right? It's base, basically SABs approach of SBL. How to deal with SBL, right? So how we are going to deal, right? How, how my students or anyone who is watching this video, how I am going to suggest you to deal that SBL, right? How I am going to suggest you to deal that SBL, right? See. So firstly, what we have to do, firstly, what we have to do, we have to go through, we have to go through the course outline. Uh, we have to go through the course outline, right? That's theory. That's basically the theory of your <clears throat> exam, right? That's basically the theory material. How, sir, there is a question that how we are going to cover that theory. So basically, we are going to cover those theory theoretical topics in classes, right? Basically, we are going to cover those theoretical topics in classes, right? There are eight sections of theory, approx eight sections, right? Uh, I have my made short notes, right? I have my made short notes, right? So there is no problem. There are there are short notes on it, right? So approx uh, around. Uh, Five to ten classes are required, approx five to ten, or I'll say in hours that twenty to twenty-five hours are required to cover that theory. So now one student just asked, sir, if I don't need theoretical classes and I read but theory by myself, so is there any problem? No problem, right? The theory has already been taught to you in the previous papers. I'll I'll go through my book. I have my book, right? I have, I've shown here that it's my book, and I'll 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 go through that book, right? So you can uh have a look on it right so you can have a look on it so <clears throat> it's theory material eight sections short notes i'll be providing in you and no need to read the book right here no need to read bbp or kaplan right there's no need of uh, reading the bbp or kaplan book you just don't need i've made the short notes and we are going to go through it right i've made the short notes and we are going to do, go through it so there's no need to read through it, right? So, SAB's approaches, SAB's approaches, what we have to do, what we have to do, we have, we have uh, to go through the course outline and that's, uh, we have to go through the theory materials and we have to go through eight sections, we have to go through short notes. It's basically how to pass it so it will <clears throat> help you in passing. Now, so if I've read the complete theory, how much I am uh, in terms of completion of course or in terms of passing the exam, how much marks I can get with completing the theory. So you'll only get 5 to 10 percent marks, right? Like if a person, I'll show you some examiner articles in all of the courses. If there is a person, he has completed theory but haven't practiced the past papers, he cannot pass his field, right? If you guys don't have the practical skills, the practice you have to do. And if you guys didn't do that, you guys not going to pass, right? 
So if you think that after completing those 20, 25 hours, you have got immense skills of passing the exam. So that's wrong. You cannot pass SBL by just going through theory. An examiner has stated in its reports, in its articles, in everywhere, that some of the students has just attempted the paper like they are writing theories. So the theory not going to help you in passing the exam. Yeah, it's going to support you in drafting the exam, right? Obviously, it's going to support you in drafting your paper. It's not going to help you passing the exam. It's going to support you drafting your exam. So that means without theory or without just reading theory, you cannot attempt a full-fledged paper. You must be knowing the theories uh, what are involved in that, right? You must be knowing the theories what are involved in that, right? So that's that's in course outline. Uh, that's in course outline, right? And now, here we go to the practice. See, what we have to do, if we, if we covered complete theory, we are just 5 to 10 percent complete, right? So we have to practice in which maximum past papers are going to be solved by me and then the rest to be solved by you and you your past papers are going to be checked by my team and myself so that I can let you know that where are you lacking. In fact, from the past friends in, on my social media platforms, I always write that anyone from anywhere in the world can send me a paper to check it and I'll surely check it, right? My team and myself will be involved in checking and will let you know that what you have to do that. So it's completely clear that in order to pass the exam, you need practice. The practice, right? The practice will help you gaining 90 to 95 person marks, right? 90 to 95 person marks. The practice will gonna be giving you 90 to 95 person marks, right? So now, so how you are going to go through the practice, right? How you are going to go through the practice. So now what we are going to do or what in my classes you are going to get is firstly, we are going to do four mini mocks, right? Firstly, we are going to do four mini mocks and what are these four mini mocks and what are these four mini mocks? <clears throat> See, so firstly, what we are going to do, we, we are going to do four mini mocks and the four mini mocks are of basically BBP. That doesn't mean that uh, you need to buy BBP. Totally not. In my book, the mini mocks are given to you. I've shared the PDFs in my groups also. So no need to worry. So four mini mocks need to be here, right? Four mini mocks need to be here. And uh, you'll... The mini mocks names are Zilba. So first we are going to attempt Zilba. Then we are going to attempt Cheap Kit, right? Then we are going to attempt Cheap Kit. Then we are going to attempt Ling. Then we are going to attempt Domosco, right? So <clears throat> these are the SBL's mini mocks. Mini mocks means these are all 50 marks questions, right? So if you guys has covered the theory, if you guys have covered the theory, some of the students don't take theory classes. They just say that we have studied the, that theory. We'll just go through it and give us the past papers access. So if you want past papers, so first the past paper we are going to do, first the practice question which we are going to do is Zilba. Then we have Cheap Kit. Then we have Ling. Then we have Domosco, right? So these are the past papers which we are going to attempt. These are the past papers which we are going to attempt, right? On the first section. These are mini mocks. I cannot... Uh, just let you go on directly on SBL exams, right? You, you guys will panic, right? You guys will panic in that. So I'll, step by step, we'll go on SBL exams. We'll first go, we'll first go to, we'll first go to on mini mocks and then we'll first go to, and then we'll go to on the later stages of SBL, right? So first we are going to go on mini mocks and then first, and then we are going to go on the rest of the papers, right? After these mini mocks, what we are going to do, after these mini mocks, we are going to attempt specimens, right? ACCA have published 
free specimens. ACCA have published three specimens, so which we are going to attempt, right? Uh, one is DCS, right? So one is DCS, that's specimen one. And we have another specimen, And then we have uh, Railco, that's in specimen. And then we have Nehebai. These are the specimens which we are going to attempt. Now, now think of the practice which we are going to do, right? First, we are going to attempt the mini mocks. Obviously, two are going to be drafted myself and two are going to be discussed by myself so that you can, two are going to be drafted by myself and two are going to be discussed by myself so that you guys can go and write and let me send, send those past papers so that I can check, right? Then we have specimens. Specimen one is DCS. Specimen one is, uh, specimen two is Railco. Specimen three is Nehebai, right? Then we have uh, ECCA practice question with myself, right? Then we have ECCA practice question that ECCA has published. That's machine shop. Once we have done the mini mocks, we are going to go on specimens. And once we have done on specimens, we are going to go on the ACCA practice question, right? On machine shop. Fine. In which ACCA has published some student answers. Published student answers. And these are checked, right? So you guys, after attempting machine shop, there are five different answers. After attempting machine shop, there are five answers that ACCA has published and ACCA have checked that. So you guys can go through those answers and have a look that on what points examiner has given marks and on what points examiner is not giving marks, right? So published student answer are also available of machine shop and we are going to attempt that question also, right? We are going to attempt that question also, right? <clears throat> after that, what we are going to do, after that, we have ACCA past attempts. Now, sir, what are ACCA past attempts? These are basically the past papers of SPL. And what are they? They are of... Uh, September 18, the first time that was tested, right? That's co fold construction. Now, these are the practice material which we have to perform by mutually, right? So that I'll let you solve some questions, then you'll solve some questions and send it to me to get it checked, right? That's September 18. Then we have December 18, highlight, right? Then we have uh, December 18, highlight, right? Then we have, uh, along with that, along with that, then we have, uh, I'll say, March, June 19, that's smartware, right? Then we have June, December 19, I don't exactly remember the name, it's, I guess, a, a, a name, a, a, a chocolate industry question. I don't exactly remember the names, right? I don't exactly remember the names in that, right? Then we have March, June. That's September, December writing, right? Then we have March, June 20. March, June uh, 20 and September, December 20. Right, so these are the practice questions that are available to you. These are the practice questions uh, that are available to you, right? Then we have March, June 21, September, December 21, March, June 22, September, December 22. Then we have March, June 23, right? And September, December 23 has not been happened till now or it will be published later. So these are all the questions, right? 
So think of that, that if we have done theory, we are just five to 10% available for the exam, right? But if we have done the practice of these four papers, then these three, then this one, and then all of that, then obviously you guys must have got after practicing so much, the professional skills along with that, you must have got the drafting skills along with that. You have, uh, you will be able to know, you will be able to know that how to score on professional marks. You will be able to know that how to score on professional marks. So these are all the questions which are available in, in my book. Here's the book, right? Here's the book. So these are the professional questions which are available in my book and they will be drafted in exam and they will be drafted in exam, right? So if you guys have understood that how to pass SBL, you must know that in order to pass SBL, you must have practiced many questions. I cannot say that you have to solve all of the questions, right? The students, those who have solved just three to four questions and, and have attempted the paper, they have passed. So that doesn't mean, but I'll try to cover maximum questions with you. And then you should do the rest of the new questions in exam time and conditions so that I can check it. Right? So can I can check it. Yeah, one thing to remember, I'll say. Uh, one thing which I'll say to remember. Just a second. One thing which I'll say to remember is that industry in SBL is important, right? The industry that's been tested is important. We have questions from, uh, we have questions from rail industry, right? Uh, we have a question from, I'll say, clothing industry. I'll say the hotel industry or service industry, right? Uh, I'll say manufacturing sector, right? Service sector, more specifically chocolates, industry from chocolates and not-for-profit organization. So if you guys know the industry well, you're obviously going to write well. See, I belong to a manufacturing sector, right? So if you guys want me to draft uh, in an uh, exam, about the manufacturing sector, the pros and the cons and everything. So I'll easily draft it, right? I'll easily draft it. So that means the industry in SBL is important. Like if a student is working in a steel industry and he has a question of industry that contains steel in an exam, so he's gonna easily draft, right? He, he knows the industry very well. So if you guys know the maximum industries, obviously, it, in, in so many exams, there are some repetitive industries, there are some new industries. So you guys easily can know the different industry dynamics with you and you can attempt the paper. Right? And you can attempt the paper. <clears throat> I'll just check the chat box. If it's fine, yeah, that's fine. There's, there are still no questions. That's great. Right. Some other points of SBL to let you know, some other points of SBL to let you know is. <clears throat> yeah. Some other point of SBL is to let you know uh, that you can be asked of, to be a single role in a complete question. Right. You can be asked to be a single role in a complete question or you can be asked to have multiple roles right or you can be asked to have multiple roles like you can be a manager in one particular question and then you can be a, a finance director in one particular question you can be an assistant in the other question right you can be an auditor in the next question so it depends on your case. We have some cases in which one role is.
being present our language is going to be different the professional right then the auditor will be coming and he has some skepticism skills in it right we are surely going to have a skills class once we are going to start the past papers we are surely going to have skills class don't worry at all right so you can be having a single role or you can be having a multiple role or you can be having a multiple role right again one thing examiner wants answer to be from different exhibits yeah right examiner like if your answer is from different exhibits you have connected well right you have connected well and demonstrate and demonstrate professional behavior your answer demonstrates professional behavior like where uh, to start where to end where's comma where's full stop if your answer contains that that means you have uh, got your examiner right you have got your examiner <clears throat> So, sir, if we need to conclude, so, sir, if we need to conclude, right, if we need to conclude uh, to pass SBL, how we are going to do that, right? I'm simply concluding it that spend minimum time, spend minimum time on theory, right? And then spend maximum time on practice right get skills practice in time conditions exam time conditions right get your answer checked work on feedback received and practice again. Of mistakes. And practice again. Of mistakes. So if you want to pass the SPL, you have to focus a less on theory and high on practice. And so for practice, you have these papers to attempt, guys. You have these papers to attempt. We have maximum papers with myself. ACC have removed it from your website, but I have in my computer these papers. I have solutions of these papers. So we can solve it, guys, with ourselves. We can solve it with ourselves, right? <clears throat> now again, the tip which I'll give you. So, so see, we have understood SPL, right? So see, we have understood SPL. We have uh, what's SBL? So that's done. How to deal with it or how to pass it? Strategy of passing has been done. Now changes. Now before changes, uh, I'll give you a drafting tip, right? I'll give you a drafting tip, and that tip is going to be repeated once we are doing some past papers. This is just an orientation session. We are going to do past papers also. So if you are drafting, you need to be aware of your question. Aware of below mentioned data. Get aware of below mentioned data in SBL. Get aware of below mentioned data of SBL. You must be knowing your role in every question, right? In question. Role, you must be aware of the role. You must be aware of the marks. You must be aware of the format, right? You must be aware of the professional skills. You must be aware of your audience and you must be aware of the points you are going to make. 
so these are the six key terms which you must know must keep in your mind while attempting the answer right if you are drafting an acca paper you must be aware of your role you must be aware of marks you must be aware of format you must be aware of professional skill audience and points how much points to make right the length of your answer and then you have to consider these six things in your mind while drafting so that you can lead to an accurate answer right obviously you might have uh, uh face this or find this as a difficult thing obviously there's <clears throat> you might find this as a difficult thing but that doesn't mean but that doesn't mean it's difficult you, once we have practiced all that right once we have practiced minimum of specimens and these questions you will be able you will be easily able guys you will be easily able to do this right just trust me and trust yourself right now uh the last thing the the thing we have written right now the last thing of our agenda is that changes of sbl from september 23 <clears throat> now changes of sbl from september 23 Ranges of SBL from September twenty three. Now, what are these changes? Now, what are these changes? <clears throat> Mr. Second. If you guys, ah, uh, you guys should not copy the PDF is going to be shared with you, right? So you guys should not copy that. If you want to copy, you can click it. If you want, ah, uh, screenshot, you can just take a picture. Then rest the the PDF, the complete PDF is going to be shared, right? See, now, <clears throat> from from September twenty three, the exam is changed. Now, what's that? from september 23 the exam is changed and that's that it will contain the advance info information right that means from september 23 you are going to get a advance information before two weeks now see in the first uh, or in the beginning of the session i told you now see in the beginning of the session i told you that you will be having a, it's it's a paper similar to the case study and that's of acs icaw right in icaw the advance information is being given for that paper and that's approx a month before right and that's approx a month before so that means the acc has adopted a similar thing to that and they will be giving you some advance information before two weeks of the exam so that you can be uh, clearer for the industry you can be clearer for the scenario you can have a better picture of things right you can have you can be familiar with the scenario right you can be familiar with the scenario right you can be familiar with scenario you can be familiar you can be familiar with industry right so that's the first change that's going to be implemented right so that's the first change that's going to be implemented then the time obviously the information is given before you need you do not need to read many exhibits in exam because the information is being given before so the time is going to be 3 hours so the time is going to be 3 hours and 15 minutes just like the acc exams right like if for before it was 4 hours i told you and now the time is going to be 3 hours and 15 minutes then the other change then the other change which is coming around it's limited ex exhibits since the data is being given prior to you since the data is being given prior to you so there will be limited exhibits in exam right 
Now, one of the student has asked, since data is given advance, so do we so do we need an additional research? So ACCA has cleared that no additional research, no additional research to be done, right? No additional research to be done. No additional research for the data you have been given in an advance to be done. You have to do, you do not have to Google it, the data. You do not have to research something. You just have to get familiar with the data being given to you. And the rest of the part is going to be given an exam and you have to solve it. And the rest of the part is going to be given an exam and you have to solve it, right? Then uh, there is some compulsory task. Yeah, that's an important thing. That's the major change they have brought up right that's compulsory task like there will be some compulsory task and you have to attempt those tasks anyhow if not that you are not going to pass if you have not attempted the compulsory task you are not going to pass the exam so you have to attempt the compulsory task with yourself you have to attempt the compulsory task right anyhow anyhow attempt it anyhow attempted right and the rest and the last change is that all skills are going to be tested once right all skills are going to be tested once so now what's that in the previous version of sbl like in the in the recent attempts you can check that every skill is not tested like they have missed commercial acumen. They have tested skepticism twice or thrice. They have tested commercial acumen thrice in three questions, but they have not uh, tested analysis, right? So now they have implemented that in one paper, you can find all five skills being tested. Examiner has noted, examiner notes, right? Examiner writes the professional skill which is being tested in that requirement. I'll show you some past papers. Examiner write this, right? So now examiner has given a clear picture that examiner will test every skill now. Every five skills needs to be tested, right? Every five skills needs to be tested in now upcoming SBL. And there, then there are some uh, no changes, right? That's similar to the previous paper. And these are, you'll be given the same roles. You'll be having the same audience that were in the previous versions of exams, right? And you have to think strategically. And you have to think strategically, right? And you have to think strategically, right? So these are the changes of SBL from September 23. These are the changes of SBL from September 23 you are going to face. So first I told you, first I told you about the complete SBL. Then I told you how to pass SBL, how to deal with SBL. And then I told you the changes of SBL from September 23. If there are any questions, you guys can text me. Else we have just a, a small discussion on the book which I have made for you. And then we can conclude today's orientation session. You guys have five five minutes. If you guys want to uh, text me, you have my WhatsApp number. Uh, and if you guys want to text on a, on a Zoom class, you just can use the chat box and to tell me. We have five minutes and then we'll move on to the next agenda of the things.
I received one general question on WhatsApp, so I've just replied on that, right? That's not that important, so I've just cleared the student. Yeah, so <clears throat> the last thing which we have for this class is SAB's book. That's my book, right, of SBL and what that contains, what uh, that contains. Obviously, in next class, we are going to have uh, to discuss skills with uh, ourselves and then we'll have some theory classes and the, then the past papers. Uh, one of the student has asked that if I want to skip the theory and move to past papers, so is it good? Yeah, totally good if you have read theory. In fact, in my uh, book, if you have read the theory and you want to pass papers to be done, you can easily do it, right? No worries. No worries at all. So here's the book. Uh, here's the book. Here we have uh, some introductions, right? They have some important topics I have highlighted to revise, right? We have some important topics to highlight. We have summarized models in this book, right? We have summarized models in this book, five forces, uh, SPA framework, all that SFA framework, right? Uh, then we have then we have here the all the important models you need to know. Then we have a summarized, then we have a summarized, right? Then we have a summarized uh, skills, how to act in those skills like if examiner has asked you to act as a commercial acumen right come uh, drop by using commercial acumen so you must know what's commercial acumen skepticism and i'll have a separate class of skills also right so we have uh i'll, I'll just make an index for you so we have uh some important topics to revise some important topics to revise from page two right so i'll i'll make an index for you that from page two important topics to revise right then page 26 uh, we have skills section right from page 26 uh, we have skills section then page 28 contains the formats which i've told you that will be tested right so i've, I've just written the formats here we are going to discuss these formats, right? Then page 28 contains the formats. So page 28 contain the formats. Right? Uh, then page 32 contains the theory, the exact theory which is going to be tested, right? The exact theory which is going to be tested, right? So that contains theory. So after that theory, if you know, see here's the theory, right? Here's the theory. So here from 32 to 32, To 156 right from 32 to 156 we have theory here right from 32 to 156 we have theory here and then page 157 again contains skills right page 157 again contains skills so that's a summarized version of the book right then after that after that, we have from 163, we have examiner articles, the important examiner articles with yourself, right? From 163, which we are going to read, obviously, there are some important examiner articles, right? So 163 contains... examiner articles with you. Then after those articles, 
and then after those articles what we have done i have incorporated the mini mocks here right i have incorporated the mini mocks and after that i have incorporated i have incorporated my answer of those mini mocks right we have examiner answer of that also and i have incorporated my answer of that mini mock also right then there is other other mini mock and then my answer of that mini mock right my answer of that mini mock so that means i have i have attached all the practice exams here so that means i have attached all the practice exam here which you need to know right which you need to have i have attached the specimens and after that specimens i have attached my answer of that specimens also and then i have attached my answers of that specimen also right so now that means if you guys have this book with yourself if you guys have this book with yourself it's around page 180 or 190 we have past papers in it right we have past papers with practice questions also right the practice questions and my answers my hand written answers right sab's answers so that's my answers been written with you right so that's my book obviously you guys if you are studying from me i'll suggest you not to buy anything just to get this book with yourself and that's it that's your complete sbl experience right so you'll have this book with you and you'll have i'll share this pdf with you also right and this will have i'll share this pdf with you also so that we can go further in the next class our agenda is to discuss skills and then have some theoretical discussions and then go on to the past papers right so that's how sbl is going to be done if there's any question if there's any question you guys can text me on whatsapp that's plus 92331 Two six two three eight four nine. It's my uh WhatsApp number, and you can text me there and ask any of the thing. Right. See you all in the next class. <clears throat>